Now then YouTube, I am the Tough Man and welcome back to some PES 2013. In that last episode you saw us beat Stoke City 2-1, it sounded closer than it actually was. We had a lot of possession, uh, quite a few shots and uh, a very nice goal from Kitely for, for Stoke City there. Meg's, Meg's Hummel is an absolute beaut, you've got to go and see that if you haven't already. That was Liverpool versus Stoke. In this next one, uh, well, actually, we've got a, a table update first to show you guys. We are second, just behind Arsenal. Three points behind Arsenal, in fact, with uh, Chelsea and Newcastle bringing up third and fourth. Manchester United, Tottenham and Man City are the ones in Europa League places at the moment. But uh, I'm sure that will change before the end of the season. Now, we've done 10 games this uh, so far. So we've got another, what, 28 games to go? So 20, 26, 28. Yeah, 28 games to go. Um, a lot of, lot of time left yet. A lot of time for everything to change. Now, we've actually got another game against Ted Lechek. So that's wonderful. Now, we had a really good game against Ted Lechek last time. Um, but this time, we are away from home. And I'm expecting it to be a little bit harder, seeing as these guys were the ones um, at the top of the, uh, at, at the, the top of our little league table that we've got going at the minute. They were until I managed to beat them 3-1. So, fingers crossed... We uh, managed to pull out another result against these. We've met the bonus conditions as set with, with them people. Lovely. Let's forward on time then to, uh, towards the game against Tedlache. And it looks like we've got Tottenham after that, is it? West London White? I can't remember who the fuck that is. Might be Fulham. I don't know. Can't remember. Do apologise if I've offended anyone by saying that. Right. So here we go. A Europa League match against Ted Lechech. Sad Sax has sustained a minor injury and won't be available. It's alright, we've, uh, we've still got Stuart Downing to bring in, I suppose. Oops. That's who we're against. Pretty shit team, really. They've put Joe Cole on the left. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? That ain't going to happen, because Stuart Downing's going to go there instead. So we've got Drogas, Suarez, Stevie G, Sain, Lucas, you know, all the usual suspects. And uh, look at that, that for a back line over there. But it, it, there's huge amounts of space behind uh, the right and left back there. And because of our formation, uh, we should, you know, exploit those spaces. Or at least that's what I would hope. So without further ado, let's go to kick off and kick this thing off and uh, let's go. Europa League, we're looking to... Uh, to at least qualify for the next round. I would like to win the Europa League, in all fairness, but we're on this difficulty and this, uh, these half lengths, uh, it could get you know, pretty hairy. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see what happens. <clears throat> Away games, though, are notoriously more difficult than home games, I've, I've come to find out. But yeah, there's huge amounts of space on the right and left back places. So I'll be looking to uh, you know, exploit that. Just like that. Nobody in the box, look. Where was Droggers? Nobody will have a know. Here's Nuri Sahin. He can line one up here. Ref, come on now. It was all over me. Like a rash. Like an actual rash. There's uh, Johnson. Glenge. Suarez. Oh, I tried to do him, but he read it apparently. A little fake. Stevie G whoops one in towards Droggers. Oh, we nearly picked it back up again. Oh, Suarez eventually gets in there. And here we go. Oh, what? Oh, that's good. Stevie G smacks it against somebody in the end, though. Enrique towards Stuart Downing again. Oh, look at all the people on me there. Oh, he managed to whip a good ball in towards Droggers. There's Stevie G underneath. It goes for the spectacular. Ends up taking bald his head off nearly. Enrique. Minutes played. Here is Drogba. 
Stevie G, oh, he's off the post. Suarez with the follow through. Oh, God, this is close. The immediate pressure. That was a lovely shot from Stevie G. Goalkeeper not managing to get to it. Suarez was the first to react. And the keeper was back up on his feet by that time, though. Palmed it out for a corner. Saying. Ball in towards Downing. Stevie G with a volley. Just didn't manage to drop for Stevie G. <clears throat> Maybe you hit it just that tiny bit too high. <coughs> Should have left it a little bit longer. I don't like I'm not managing to get header on that. It's swung into the middle. Oh, Reina, lovely. Thank you. Out towards Enrique. Looking to exploit this space down the wing. Downing. Now Nuri Sahin. Wrong person, come on now. Raw oh, fucking hell! Incapable Downing. of passing it to the right Good person. Down the side. Now, what next? Droggers. Suarez. A bit of space here for Suarez on the edge of the box. <laughs> it is notoriously more difficult away from home to score, and I don't know why this is. I really don't know why this is, but uh, never the mind. A point would be a point if we managed to get a point from this. Johnson. Lucas. Oh, and again, why? Here's Luis Suarez. Drogba in the end flashes it straight across goal. Can Suarez, can uh, Lucas get to it? Sorry, beforehand. Oh, what? He went. Fuck's sake! No excuse for that going out, really. Lovely challenge there. Get the fucking ball, holy shit. Joe Cole's on the pitch. Joggers to Suarez. Oh, Stevie G's offside. He should know better. He's an experienced footballer. He should know better. What? Apparently I wasn't offside. Not according to the red line, I wasn't. 60th minute, just gone. Oh, Hummel's straight in there. Joe Cole gets it into a great area. There's just nobody there, though. This is the point I'm getting at. Sain! Oh! Keeper does a backwards Superman to keep that out at the back of the net. There's nobody in the box. I mean, how the hell? Where's my centre forward and why is he not in the box? It's unacceptable. It really is. Sain. Jogba! Off the post. Joe Cole. Stevie G, Daniel Agger, oh, all the way back to Lucas. Oh, no, then passes it to the wrong person and gives it straight to somebody. That seems to be a big thing for me at the moment. Is they always pass to the wrong person. And that is, a, you know, I keep saying this in FIFA, but with FIFA, you seem to have more control over where you're passing it. With this, it's, you know, not the case. What? Look, Drogba's just not running there at all. Suarez on the volley, and that is over. Again, would you believe? Seems to be a lot of that in away games. Shots going over. Last ten minutes, guys. It looks like we're going to come away with a point. Unless something happens. 
Hit it ahead of yourself. I'm not fucking pressing. I'm not rapidly pressing it for the funnies. Why do they not do it? They do it sometimes and then not do it the others. Glenn Johnson. Charlie Allen. Chance. Didn't give it away. Joe Cole. Keeper, keeper serves it. Clear How the fuck? Danger. Ah, oh, you annoying little shit! Why are you passing to the wrong person, which immediately then passes to somebody else? It just gives it back to the opposition's team. Fuck's sake. Can he now find a finish? It's it long. Fuck off, seriously. That was entirely a load of bullshit. All because I passed to the wrong fucking guy. It keeps passing to the wrong person. It nearly ended up in the back of his own fucking net because of that. Look at the amount of shot. 11 shots, 4 on target. Ah, it's annoying the crap out of me, these away games. They're just, every time you go for a shot, most of them just seem like they're off fucking target. You know, like over or something like that. But anyway, a point is a point. And uh, I suppose I can't really argue with that. Fiddler Jeg, whatever his fucking name is, is, uh, is, is man of the match for that one. <sighs> oh well guys, until next time, I have been the Softman as always, stay safe.